International and Global Studies, uh, or INGS as we call it, is a dedicated stream within the Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Advanced Studies. What that means is that students come into this uh, as, a, as a cohort uh, and take a lot of the same units together, which is something that they, uh, I think, quite enjoy. The, uh, the units range uh, across uh, global history, uh, international affairs, both in terms of traditional interstate relations, uh, international relations, but also examining more transnational forces, social movements, uh, and the like. I think what's th quite distinctive about the, uh, the Ings degree is that it takes a humanistic uh, lens to these things. So we also put emphasis on issues of language, culture, uh, identity, uh, and that allows students to develop some quite specific uh, regional expertise in a, in a part of the world um, as part of their degree within that wider global setting. The core of the Ings degree is a, a set of units that have been tailored specifically uh, for this degree, that is to say the, the global studies major, uh, as we call it. Alongside that, uh, students will then take a second major. Now, history, politics, those are the kinds of things that are quite popular, but this could be anything. Uh, we have students studying music as their second major, theatre performance uh, as, their, as their second major. Now, on top of that, Ings is unique. Uh, I think, in fact, it's the only course at the university that also has a language uh, requirement. Uh, that involves either taking a language uh, as a minor, uh, six units of study, or if you prefer, you could take that language uh, and culture specialization as your second major uh, and get more advanced study uh, in any one of the, the range of uh, language and culture departments that we, we have here at the, uh, the university. Um, INGS also has an exchange component. Uh, we uh, expect students to uh, take uh, either a semester uh, of exchange study somewhere else in the world. Uh, sometimes uh, that can be done as part of a summer or winter uh, intensive uh, along the way. Uh, and we help students find the most appropriate places uh, around the world to study and, and send, send our students to um, you know, some very exciting destinations uh, internationally. This builds up towards the fourth year uh, of the Ings degree, at which point you have the choice uh, of uh, going down the path of advanced coursework uh, in the Ings program in International and Global Studies, a, a coursework year, or alternatively you could choose to take honours uh, in Ings, uh, which will involve you uh, writing a thesis, an honours thesis as part of your, your fourth year study, uh, which we think is a, a very uh, you know, appropriate platform for future uh, postgraduate study if that's um, where your interests are taking you at that point in time. Ings equips its uh, graduates very well to, uh, for a range of uh, future career opportunities, uh, going into the public service with something that has an international dimension, for example, uh, diplomacy is an obvious, um, obvious option, various kinds of policy work that, that touches on international questions, be it more in the, the think tank mode or in uh, uh, NGO work uh, and advocacy. Uh, around uh, issues. These are the kinds of things that uh, our students are, are looking to get into. Journalism, um, working as a foreign correspondent uh, is, is, is another opportunity. And, and naturally, the private sector is, is replete uh, with, with opportunities for people who have a, a global outlook uh, and, and skills that allow them to function uh, at an international level. <laughs>